Well, short north parking has been a problem for years, and many say with all the construction, it's only getting worse. But relief may be on the way. Thanks for staying with us at 530. I'm Mark Taylor. And I'm Ellie Merritt. The city has a plan to help, but it comes at a cost. NBC 4's Elise Changeri spent the day getting answers. She's live in the short north now with this story that's new at 530. Elise. The amount of meters here in the short north are already limited, and then you add all of this construction plus these bagged meters, and that equals even less parking spots here. Now, the city says they've come up with a plan. They're actually spending $200,000 to better this area and this whole parking situation. I love the short north. I love coming down here, but actually getting here is the tough part, you know, so I tend to prefer other places in the city simply because of the parking hassle. It's honestly terrible. I can't go anywhere. It's awful. To find a restaurant to eat and there's never really a spot, so you just have to go on the side streets. And if it's cold out, you have to walk in the cold, which is frustrating. These are concerns the city is hearing regarding a parking issue. The city tells me they hired a consulting firm last year, which helped. However, they decided to hire Rama Consulting recently to get more feedback about the issue. A $200,000 project with money coming from the capital improvement budget. Short North parking is, is uh, certainly a challenge. Uh, through this planning effort, we hope to uh, create more access. We want people to think a little bit differently about how they access Short North. You can certainly drive, but we also, we also want to provide more options for people to get to the Short North that doesn't include bringing your vehicle. Columbus City Council member Michael Stinziano says council voted on Monday for the new consulting firm. He voted against it, saying he thought there was enough feedback from the last time a firm came in but hopes this benefits everyone. So there's been a tremendous amount of feedback and a thorough process that the city has undertaken as we focus to trying to find a solution. Uh, so support and remain committed to working with businesses and residents to what's going to be best for that corridor. It's a good idea. Any momentum moving forward is a good thing. To help with these bagged meters, the city says they are changing the signs so that instead of being completely bagged for long periods of time, they'll have a time frame on it when you can actually park. That started just here in January, and that's just one of the newest steps they've taken. Now, the city says regarding the new consulting firm, the planning recommendations come out in June, and then they say that they will be implemented later on in the year in November. Local for you in Columbus, Elise Chingari, NBC4.